How's it going guys, what you'll see today is at least an early look at the Desert Eagle sidearm that will be coming out for the new Dragon's Teeth DLC. Uh, if you're asking the question of how I'm actually using it early, it's because I play the community test environment CTE for PC, which they've unlocked the DLC weapons early, so you've got the chance to try them out and test them out. And here it is, there's the footage. What I'll do, of course, is give you the Simtic stats early on. They are subject to change. Don't shoot the messenger if they're not identical, or a month down the road you look at the video and the stats are off, because... Uh, the, the, the weapon could get nerfed, it could get changed before the DLC comes out, but here's an early look, and I'll, I'll tell you the stats anyway. For the Desert Eagle, it's chambered in the 44 Magnum, it's not a 50 caliber weapon, uh, and the damage model is 56 as the max, 37.5 as the minimum. Uh, the damage drop-off begins at 12.5 meters and ends at 50 meters. Uh, the, the fire rate is 220 rounds per minute, so as you expect, you're getting extreme damage, but a very slow fire rate. Uh, and the reload time is 2.75 seconds when there's a round left in the chamber and 3.2 seconds when there isn't one left in the chamber. The, the bullet velocity is 400 meters per second, which is, I guess, uh, I guess it's average. It's not glaringly low, but it's not glaringly quick either. Uh, and it holds eight rounds in the magazine plus one in the chamber for nine total. Uh, the recoil is, vert is two in terms of the vertical recoil, so it's not a big issue there in terms of verticality recoil. And horizontally, it doesn't have a telltale horizontal signature because at 0.3 to the left and 0.3 to the right, there isn't a, another giveaway per se. Uh, but using this, uh, I do have a fear because this thing is a monster in close range. It can hold its own as long as you're accurate. Uh, but the biggest issue I have with this is there is quite a bit of vertical recoil. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, Visual recoil, that's what I'm looking for. It's visual recoil. When you fire the weapon, there's quite a bit of shake to it, visual recoil. So th that'll be something to have to get used to or hopefully edit it out of the game. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, but that is a factor with it. The other thing too is I found most of the sidearms to be balanced quite well. But when this one comes out, I have a feeling this is going to take pretty much everything maybe except the Unica 6. And maybe the 44 Magnum out of equation. Uh, like the 44 Magnum, the Unica 6... Uh, and even the Rex, if you really choose to use it as the more damaging but less fire rate weapons. This is, I think, the superior one to all of it. So that's my biggest issue is that it'll completely destroy the balance that Pistols at least was working towards this whole time. Uh, but but that's because obviously it's it's that good. It's a monster. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I like this is the first time I've actually posted a pistol review because I've had enough fun and enough of a chance to go around taking people with assault rifles. It's that good. But again, it poses a potential balance issue. We'll see how it plays out, but I think most people love the Deagle. They're going to give it a try. And I think they'll like it. Like, there's not really a lot of cons with it as long as you're accurate and you're, you're not getting into a fight against someone with an assault rifle. See you later.